Hi there, um, in this video we're going to go over adding hooks to uh, the Gatsby default starter. So when I say hooks, um, Gatsby have recently introduced a, a use static query hook in, in Gatsby, which is pretty neat. Um, and I'm just going to go through uh, converting the Gatsby default starter to use um, the use static query hooks um, or static query hook. Um, and uh, we'll make our own component as well. So let's open up a new window here. Uh, bring it over to this side. Um, and we're going to use code sandbox. Let's bump up the uh, maximize the screen size here. <coughs> and uh, sorry about the coffin. Um, we're going to use, uh, we're going to create a new sandbox, which is going to be the. Uh, the Gatsby, and this should just open up the uh, default, the Gatsby default starter for us, which I believe um, uses static query in some of the components for the SEO here. Um, this stuff's passed in manually on the index page, but for the layout, I believe, um, I think that uses um oh here we go it is a static query so we're gonna we're gonna replace this static query with the uh gatsby internal uh hooks oh sorry uh use static query hook um so that's just um but before we sort of replace this this site metadata and title we're gonna make our own little component for um site metadata so um everything that goes into the um the site metadata which is usually in gatsby config here uh so here we've got title description and author um we, we're going to put that into our own component so in here we're going to make a, a component new file and we'll call it uh site metadata we'll follow the same naming convention as uh, the, the default starter here so it's uh, metadata and uh, metadata yep and uh, yeah sorry about my typing terrible i know <laughs> so in our site metadata um oh we have to wait for um uh, gatsby to initialize now but while that's happening uh we will import uh from gatsby IntelliSense working, there we go. Um, we're going to use uh, the GraphQL tag and the use, here we go, static, oh, static query component. And then in here, um, we're going to have uh, uh, our component. So use Meta, metadata and then in here um it's going to be a uh, and in here we're going to use the um the static query with graphql so um the static query is what we pass um the GraphQL tag to with our query. Uh, and then in here, what we'll do is uh, query already here. So this is just for the um, site title query. We're just gonna jack that and uh, put, put our other parts in here as well, which is author, author and description so <clears throat> this is only a starter but um you, you can imagine that this can, can can get quite quite big um the more sort of metadata you want to use throughout your site um so we're gonna that's the query we're passing into the component and then uh we're gonna want to return in inside here still um no no out here the um site dot metadata um 
and then export the component. Oh, export default. Cool, 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 cool. And then uh, we're going to call this. It's not the title. It's uh, site metadata query. So now, <coughs> sorry. Uh, why are we squiggling on that uh, return site? Let's be. Um, this should have site, oh, site metadata. All right, why is that? Site is not defined. It is defined up here, mate. Oh, um, my bad. Sorry, I needed to um, uh, have this as, and then we're going to get. Uh, destructure site from the hook. Uh, is it like that? And then, then, yeah, so site metadata is just a property on what we're returning in here. Cool, 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 cool. Right, um, let's go to our layout now and um, import our new component. Um, what do we call it? Use, use site metadata. So this is going to be the function we're going to import here. Um, from our component, which was site, site metadata. Um, <clears throat> so this is our wrapper. So we're going to, this is just an implied return at the moment. We're going to want to have curly braces. And then, oopsie, in here. Uh, this is going to be returning return from here and then in here we want to use our new custom hook we've made so um, oh we want to get out our title here title what else do we want to get out um, looks like that's it for now so we'll get title from oops um, <laughs> We destructure title from our use site metadata function. Um, and then we don't need to have data site use site metadata, just have the title. We don't need our render prop uh, props anymore or our static query. So we'll get rid of that and that. Keep the empty tags here and here um, and that's the end closing bracket for the uh, new static query get rid of that um, closing bracket uh, need a closing curly brace there wow that was difficult to watch i'm sure it return is not defined. Let me just refresh that. Okie dokie. So, um, don't need this anymore. Got rid of that part from there. So, there we go. We've got our, we're using our custom use site metadata hook um, in our project now. So basically anything we've got in this um, use site metadata function, um, for this, it's just the title, author, and description. Um, we can then sort of destructure out of the function throughout our application now, um, which is pretty neat. So just done that for the default start sorry for the um the layout this seems fine here still oh well done not resolve use site metadata um what did i just break there
Weird. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, the SEO component here. Which oh, they're using the the React the the Gatsby uh, use static query here, and uh, you can see that they've used the same pattern which um, I used in the um, site metadata component we made function hook. Uh, custom hook so what we could do here with what this is is um, just use the same again so if we import our uh, custom hook uh, what do I call it Okay, um, we can in here uh, destructure out our props we want. So we want um, not site, we want title, description, and author. And it looks like there's some tags being used when they're renaming stuff um being passed in so we're gonna have to um the title it's gonna have to name this as um site meta title and description as well as being passed in so we'll call this site meta site meta description author no we're getting that out of there okay um so that can equal uh, use site metadata close that off and we can um and now start renaming these here so this is um site meta description uh site meta title here more for any more uh oh we have got the author up here um is it being passed in doesn't look like it so this is just gonna still be uh without the site site metadata titles in there meta descriptions in there okay so um we can now get rid of that and this And this. Hit save. Looks good. So that resolves site metadata in source components. I've broken it. What? Let me see. <laughs> Safe. Come on. Cool. So um, I, I'm not sure what's going on now. Um, so, all right, we don't need this anymore here. You stay query and uh, GraphQL from Gatsby. They're being used in our site metadata component. Keep erroring. Site metadata. So, oh, can't resolve site metadata. Why can't you? Can I not, can I not type? Site metadata. I mean, <laughs> it's in layer as well. Try that. Okay, so <laughs> there you have it. I'm, I'm really not sure what was going on with with, with that. Um, I've implemented this in uh, my my blog now, and um, I'm sort of gradually going through my other sort of Gatsby sites and, and um, using this pattern throughout it. I, I do quite extensively use um, the, the 
uh, metadata throughout the sites and I found it as a great little way to just pick out the information you need and, and you can use it throughout the site so they have it um, getting um, the Gatsby default starter to use uh, the use static uh, query hook and use a uh, our own custom use site metadata hook thanks for watching